Hey, Caitlin. Hi. What are you doing? Um, I'm assembling a syringe right now. This is the anesthetic that you use whenever you um, get, like, say, like a filling or something. They're gonna inject this in. Oh, and that's cool. Yeah. What does the red stripe mean? Um, this means it's epinephrine, and you use it when uh, a patient doesn't have a heart condition. You want to make sure with their medical history, and if they have a heart condition, do not use the red one. Oh, okay. That's really cool. <laughs> Okay. Hey Audrey, what are you showing us today? I am showing you how to take an x-ray. I am taking one of the premolars. I'm just going to line it up. Good. So is this a machine that like takes the x-rays? Yep, this is a tube. Tube head. And it just sits there, and then you come over, and you hold it down. How far away do you have to be from that to take your x-ray? You have to stand at least six feet away to be Hey Caitlin, Hi. what are you doing? Um, I'm assembling a syringe right now. Um, so this is used for, say if you're getting a filling, this is used to numb your mouth. Oh. There's a lot of different colors there, what are all those for? <laughs> well these, these are used, uh, say this is a long syringe and you want to use it in the upper arch of your mouth. And then the lower, these are the short ones and you use this in the lower. And then uh, you see how this is red? You want to make sure um, you know the difference between this one and this one. This one you would use if a patient has a heart condition. You do not use the red one if they have a heart condition because it contains epinephrine and that will cause problems. Oh, so the needle's in here? Yes. Can we see it? Yeah. Ooh. Let's see. Okay, so you put the cap in here. What's yes. that for? Um, so you don't uh, puncture yourself. You don't want to get heard by this. Oh, that's really cool. Well, yeah. thanks for showing us, Caitlin. You're welcome. Hey, Audrey. Hello. What are you doing today? I'm going to be taking x-rays. Okay. So, is this the x-ray machine then? Yeah, this is, well, this is a tube head which generates the x-rays, and then it shoots right directly, and then it stops when it hits the plate that's in his mouth, oh, and then okay. you want to stand six feet away, and make sure you're pressing the right setting, which is premolar, so I have that one, then you hold it down, then once it stops beeping, you're good. You take it out, and take it to the scanner. Abby, are you the scanner today? Yes, I am the scanner. So Audrey brings me her x-ray. I take it out of the covering and put it in the scanner. And that's a phosphor storage plate that we use to take the x-ray with. So what's on the computer then? These are all the different x-rays that she's taken. This one is a premolar. This is bite wing. These are... Um, mandibular molars, these are anteriors. So All then different. after it comes back out of the scanner you can just use it again? Mm -hmm. You put it back in the covering and you can use it again. So like for this one, this x-ray per se, like what are those used for? Like why would you have to have these ones and this one? A bite wing is used to um, detect interproximal caries so you can see if there's cavities in between the teeth. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's really cool. And you can look at them up close too. That's really cool. Riley, Brooke, what are you guys doing? Who is this? Oh, this is Fred. Fred? Yes. Fred. We're working on chair side assisting. Yep. And functioning and stuff. Yeah. So, 
Wait, Brooke, what instrument do you have then? I have the HVE. So I'm what's using the suction? So like how do you make sure that you're getting all the water into the suction and it's not like running down their throat? Um, I stay parallel to the tooth that she's working on and a little bit distal and I use my beveled edge and I lean it against the tooth. That's really cool. Riley, what instrument do you have? I have the air water spray. What's that for? So you use it to rinse off the teeth with the water and then you can blow air on it to dry it. Can you shoot air and water at the same time? Just you curious. absolutely can. Oh. <laughs> That's the ultimate. Hey, Alexis! What are you up to? I'm actually making a mandibular impression. What's that for? Well, I would actually go take it to get poured up in the stone. You can actually use it to get dental prosthesis fitted or even braces. Oh. Yeah. Is that the thing that they like put in your mouth for like ever? Well, actually, this is fast set, so it takes 30 seconds to set up. So if the patient like has a really bad gag reflex, you'd like want to use this. Got you. Is that one flavored, or is no, I don't it the it kind is. that tastes like erasers? I think it's the one that tastes like erasers. <laughs> I like the chocolate one. That looks like a lot. Why do you need so much? We actually need to get it to cover the vestibule, so which is the entire gums up here. Oh, okay. And you want to flip that? Yeah, now we just have to wait around 30 seconds. So while you're doing that, you want to make sure everything's all clean before it sets up. Can that go in the sink? Or like, no, does it, it set up in the sink too? It cannot go in the sink. <laughs> It'll definitely clog. <laughs> so we're just gonna like discard it in the trash. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go see what Grace is doing. I'm doing stone models. Stone models? Yes. They're used, you can make them from retainers. You can make bleaching trays. It takes 45 minutes to set up. This is the mandibular mold, which is the bottom of your jaw. I just saw Alexis's impression. Is, can you fill that with stone? Yeah, that's how you make retainers and bleaching trays for patients. That's really cool.